Well, hey everybody, I'm Paul Gross. Let's get you updated with our severe threat for today. Now the storms and showers that we get this morning ahead of this warm front, not severe. So routine showers and storms this morning after the warm front comes through the area. Anything that pops up this afternoon behind it potentially could be severe and we're going to have to watch this situation very, very closely and I'll get more into that in a minute. This stuff ends this evening. Things do quiet down overnight and then the cold front moves through and that will end the rain threat. Two things we have to watch today. One is sunshine. If we get sunshine, we get more unstable. And if we get more unstable, then this becomes a real critical factor. These blue arrows are surface winds blowing generally from the south. These magenta arrows are the winds aloft. About 20,000 feet up, moderately strong winds aloft coming in. Notice the change in direction as you move aloft. That's called wind shear. So if we get some sunshine today, and I don't think we're going to see a lot, but if that should materialize, we'd get more violent updrafts. They'd go taller, higher, then we would tap into this wind shear, and some of those storms could start rotating. Now, I want to caution you, not every rotating storm, called a supercell, not every rotating storm causes a tornado. It just gives you a greater potential. So we're going to monitor that situation very carefully, and so is the Storm Prediction Center, which has put our entire area in the slight risk area. That's basically category two on the one to five scale. We're in the slight risk area for this afternoon. And as far as specific impacts, obviously any storm is going to give us lightning. Uh, pretty good potential for severe wind gusts with any of these storms that do develop. Flooding is kind of localized because any storm is going to have very torrential downpours this afternoon. I think it's a pretty small hail threat. And the tornado threat, I'm keeping it low right now just because of the lack of sunshine. But if we get even just a couple of hours of sun, I would then move this tornado threat up to uh, probably medium. So we're going to have to watch that very, very closely. As far as temperatures, we're going to get into the low 80s today, and it's going to be a real steam bath out there. You're going to notice the humidity as soon as you step out the door. Now, tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Uh, looks like 80 in the city. Most of the area will probably be in the mid to upper 70s for highs. Saturday starts out nice, but scattered showers and even a couple of thunderstorms develop. And, of course, we have the Dream Cruise. We're going to have to watch that. I think the evening will be dry Saturday, but the afternoon we could have these pop-up showers and storms. Sunday, warmer, mostly sunny. Monday's eclipse day, mostly sunny. So we will see what for us will be a partial solar eclipse on Monday. Notice warm getting into the upper 80s and then uh, cold front comes through with a few showers and storms Tuesday and then we dry out on Wednesday with temperatures kind of returning back closer to average.